Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Budget Stacker. Today we begin our experiments on our milk spotted silver specimens to see if we can find the perfect way to remove milk spots from your silver that doesn't uh, significantly or really damage the silver itself. So um, you know, we're going to be trying uh, doing kind of the Edison approach where we just do multiple, multiple experiments. Does this work? Does that work? Uh, to see if we can find the perfect way. Um, so if you're interested in seeing uh, you know, our different attempts, um, this is going to be the first in a series, I would imagine. I don't think we're going to come up with a cure right off the bat, but you never know. Um, but if you're interested, stay tuned because here we go. Well, all righty then, we're going to get into our experiments. Um, <clears throat> I think we're going to start with number one. Uh, there's been a few developments I just want to uh, note. Um, initially, when I first um, put out um, the, uh, or, or did the video of the samples of the milk-spotted um, subject I was going to do or use, um, <clears throat> I kind of didn't put it out for a while. Didn't know how it would be received. Uh, in the community, but it seems to have been received well. Um, do have a lot of people wishing me success. Uh, obviously, if we can find a way to get rid of milk spots on our silver uh, that doesn't really mess up the silver, that's a good thing. So good thing for me, good thing for the community, and um, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, <laughs> a lot of people have tried before, and I, I will say I'm standing on the shoulder of giants because um, I have checked out a number of um, different uh, videos of people who have tried to figure out different ways to eradicate, um, you know, the milk spotting. Uh, Spectacular um, has a, a good video you know, a few years back where he tried to do various things and a recent one as well. Uh, on that recent one, he uh, was kind of thinking that heat, he had heard that heat might um, be a possible solution. Uh, so I believe he, and I'll put a, a link to his video in the description below, but he had heated them up, his uh, sample up to a very high temperature. Um, <clears throat> didn't work, but it was a valiant try. And props out to him for sacrificing his piece of silver to see if that um, uh, would do well, but it actually ended up really um, kind of frosting up the whole thing. But um, yeah, another one too, like I said, a few years back where he tried a few different things. There was a recent video from Backyard Bullion, very interesting, uh, about milk spotting. Uh, the reason it was so interesting is because he actually got to go uh, into uh, the Royal Mint and uh, meet a lot of the people and kind of discuss uh, various things with them. And um he hadn't talked about this initially in his, his uh, recap of that, but what he did um, what he did do is ask them about milk spotting, and um, that uh, was very interesting. Some of the responses they came up with. Um, he was talking about, uh, and again, I'll le I'll leave a link to his video uh, in the description below as well too. Um, but he said that uh, they're talking about the uh, Canadian Mint's Mint Shield, which has been effective in uh, pretty much um, you know, keeping milk spots off of their uh, maples, Canadian maples. Um, and he said uh, it's, it's kind of, a, the Mint people were kind of saying, well, it's only a temporary solution. They put some sort of nano coating on the actual silver uh, that just delays it. Time will tell if that's true or not. Um, <clears throat> but I do have to give props out to Chris and so Cal, who had uh, kind of a general impression that he, he seemed to have or seemed to think they put some sort of oily coating on there. So he actually might be right. Maybe not necessarily oily, but they do some put some sort of coating on there, some sort of nano coating. Maybe it is, you know, nano oil coating. So, yeah, that's those are interesting impressions. He also said that... Um, the sort the the person from the Royal Mint said the the source of the milk spotting was not 
something at the mint. It's from when they got the silver itself. It was already in that condition, and then it went, it went into the mint and got struck. Um, it just pretty much had it on there already. So they mentioned something about um, salts, some sort of salt deposit or something that was left on the planchard when they got it. So he said it's only as good as the suppliers that they get it from. Now, currently, the American Sil Silver Eagles, this is these are 1998s. Uh, that have the milk spotting on them. Currently, you don't see a lot of milk spotting on these. And they do get all their um, plant shirts um, from Sunshine Mint. Actually, not all. I think they're one of the main providers from the Sunshine Mint. I'd be curious to see if anybody else has Sunshine Mint products um, that, you know, put out by the, their mint directly that have any milk spotting because maybe there's something to that, that it comes from the plant shirts. I'd always thought that they washed them before they went into the printing process, but um, maybe they don't. So if anybody knows anything about that, that would be helpful. Um, the real tough part for me is, yeah, is this like some sort of corrosion? Um, is it something that's within the metal, like covered just underneath the surface? And maybe there's little micro holes where the uh, substance can leach out over time. I would love to have somebody with the electron microscope kind of take a look and see between the different sections of the non-milk spotted and milk spotted section to see what you see. That would be awesome. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. Of course, if you're in university, you know, ask your professor if you could do it as a side thing uh, or, you know, medical industry, don't get yourself in trouble, of course. But if anybody has one of those, that would be an interesting thing to find out. What actually is this? Is it, is it something coming from within it? Um, I don't know. Um, but um, part of those ideas will be essentially what, what we do on some of our first few experiments. So with that being said, and the links um, for those other um, you know videos down below, um, I'm going to try a few things. And, um, you know, we'll get into some of those experiments right now. So stay tuned. Hold on. Here we go with the first one. But first, a disclaimer. Do not try any of these experiments on coins with potential numismatic value. Um, these are intended to be for high mintage bullion only. And, you know, wait to see if it works even on that. Uh, based on the videos and, and uh, just be careful whenever you're cleaning any sort of coin if it has a numismatic or collectible value you could destroy a, a lot of um, you know value in that coin uh, by cleaning it even so just be careful don't do that unless you know what you're doing uh, this is only intended for that high mintage uh, bullion so that's a disclaimer and besides the disclaimer, just um, a little note, um, there are ways uh, that you can clean off all sorts of gunk on coins. Um, you know, these are peace dollars. These could uh, have um, some numismatic value. Uh, this one here on the left, you'll see if I kind of move it around, you're going to see a little bit of a cartwheel effect. You see how the shine kind of like follows around like a cartwheel? Um, that's, that's the original luster of the coin. This has not been cleaned. Uh, you know, there was 51 million minted, um, but these went in circulation. So a lot of these, you know, didn't come out as clean as this uh, brilliant uncirculated one. This, uh, was cleaned. Now, if you notice when I, you know, move it around, it's either shine on or shine off. There's no cartwheel effect. This has been cleaned. Uh, I actually cleaned it before you get mad at me. Um, it was a cull, so it's actually got a really bad ding. You can see it more here. Look, it's just got walloped on the side. Um, so when I, I, it was just so, so bad looking and it was a cull. So I just cleaned it um, and I just used a polishing cloth on this one. So you know, we're going to go through a few different methods, but ultimately what I'm trying to do is if we can get our bullion looking having that same luster without any micro abrasions. Uh, that's what I'd like to do. You know, it may just end up that, hey, there's some, some processes we're going to go over and we will go over a lot 
um, that do create a little micro abrasions. Maybe that's fine. It's just bullion, but not on these two. These are peace dollars. So just using that for the example of clean versus non-clean. But uh, if you just have a bullion coin and it's got a little, it's got a milk spotting issue on it like this one, you know, maybe it's just a matter of using one of those other methods. So we're going to go over those uh, in this whole series um, and a few other ones too. You can see which ones you might think would work best for your bullion, only your bullion though. Okay, for our first experiment, I'm actually going to use sample number two. Um, there's a reason for that. Um, what I thought I'd start off with is just get into uh, the, the kind of um, the one I've heard the most, which is using a white eraser uh, to remove the uh, milk spotting. Um, did try that. I really wasn't um, too satisfied with that. It just seemed to make a big old mess. Now, what I did do is I found these um, polymer erasers. Uh, no plug to this brand. This just happened to be what I found. Actually, the same brand as the other one, too. Um, but these are just big, bulky erasers and uh, not very precision. So I'm not going to use that one on this one. This time I went out and I bought these guys here. Uh, they're also, you know, white erasers, but you can put them on the end of a, a pen or a pencil or something like that. Um, and I don't need this many. I just need one, but they don't sell them in one pack. So uh, just bought it again. Yeah, nothing against the brand. This brand is meant for erasers for like pencils, if, for those who still use pencils. But, um, you know, it says clean erasing and it says latex free won't uh, tear paper i don't care much about that but it says non-abrasive eraser so we'll be the judge of that so far as coins again can't blame the company because it's meant for paper not for coins so what i wanted to do is since these are much smaller i have a little more of a tip i thought i could actually get into a very precise section uh, if you remember, if you do in the, the last video we had, this particular one, you can kind of see it even through the plastic, had kind of a little something on it, um, just like a little spot. And that's where some milk spotting had occurred. There you can kind of see a little better. So I am going to use these um, very precise erasers. I want to hit that one spot and we'll see how it looks. First, I'm going to take a look at it under the loop. Um, maybe even the microscope and uh, that way I can kind of compare to see how it looks. So that'll be our first experiment on uh, the tried and true method uh, that some people have talked about, which is using a uh, eraser. So let me get prepared for this. Okay, here we are with sample number two. Um, I looked at the loop really carefully the surface we're going to scratch there's no marring no scratching or anything like that it's not, we're not going to scratch it we're going to use the erasure on it actually hopefully not scratch it but one thing i did notice um there's kind of a brown it's very hard to catch on camera um when i was looking at it through the loop with only one light there's kind of a brown tint Maybe you can see a little bit around that one spot we're going to hit. Uh, and then down here too, and then a little bit around here and everywhere. Only when I turned it one way could you see that. And then when you turn it the other way, those are milk spots. So not sure what that's about. But here is our trusty eraser. And don't try this at home. But we, <laughs> well, you can if you want, but it's your server. So be careful. Um, I'm going to try to get right there, that one spot there, really precise. Let's see if I can make this go away. It's a little milk spot. I can already tell. I think I am putting some micro abrasions on there. Well, I shall see. Will it remove that little boy? little milk spot i'm not sure okay well something is definitely happening okay 
I'm going to make something very soft. See if I can. Okay. All righty. I'm going to take a look at the loop and give you my impression. Be right back. Okay. So um, this is my loop, by the way. It's a pretty big one, so it does help me to get in there pretty good. Um, you can kind of, you can tell, I mean, you can kind of tell what part I clean. Maybe because nothing else has really been cleaned before. It could be one of the reasons. Um, but I don't see the milk spot anymore. So the milk spot did appear to be just on the surface. Um, not, I, I don't know if it was like just a, a residue or something like that. Because then other methods would, I think, bring it out a little easier. Uh, I think I can see some micro abrasions um, from that. And you can probably tell. I mean, it's the only spot I cleaned. So you can kind of see. And, and again, maybe it's because the whole thing hasn't been cleaned. Um, but just for basic <coughs> uh, removal, using the more precise method uh, with these, this small guy, I was able to get into that spot. Um, and unlike some of my other experiences, it didn't mush everything all over the place and just make it hazier. But I can tell there, uh, there's something that's been done there. Um, so it's, it's not a bad method, just for bullying, of course, um, just to kind of make it look a little cleaner. But yeah, you can, you can really kind of see the difference of that. Um, no more uh, milk spot. Um, we're going to try a few other different ways, uh, but yeah, eraser seems to be a way to remove it. There are some micro abrasions. I did use a little um, rubbing alcohol and gently wiped it off. I think I was really, really gentle with this too. So it's not like a, you can't see a whole heck of a lot of scratches, but um, through the loop and probably even more with a microscope, you could probably see um, some of that, but you know, it did make it look prettier in that spot. There is no milk spot left. There's just a little shinier spot where it looks like it was kind of cleaned up. So that is uh, one method I think that um, works just for basic bullion. I'd like to see if there's any other ones we can do that maybe don't have that um, same micro abrasion. So we're checking out a few other things, but for experiment number one, Tried and true, um, you know, uh, eraser, white eraser. I think this little tip one works best, so you can kind of see that's that's the junk I got off <laughs> that little spot right there. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you want to be rubbing that on. Maybe use the other side. So maybe fifty in a box is not so bad. <laughs> so um, yeah, that that's a. Uh, that worked better on the more precise one, but um, we'll see if we can find a few other ways that might um, might work as well. We've had a few suggestions too, so I'm going to try some other ones as well. But that one, not too bad. Not exactly that, you know, it's just looking for something that would just take it off and not leave micro abrasions or not make it look super clean. But we'll see. Um, it's not bad if, if you just want to make them clean them up a little bit, um, but there might be a better way. So we'll keep experimenting. Okay, we're going to do another um, experiment, and we're still going to use number two. Um, on the last uh, experiment, number one, we used a, a racer, got a little bit of, um, uh, well, we got that part, that little blotch there that was a milk spot off. So it appears that milk spotting is just on that outer surface. Um, it uh, you know, probably left a little micro abrasions. Uh, we did get uh, a number of people um, say that you know what they use, and again, just on their bullion, not a numismatic thing that's collectible, uh, to get off these ugly milk spots. Um, they just one person said they got it from Amazon. Another person said they uh, got it from Walmart. Um, but I've got 
one of these little um, ultra soft jewelry polishing cloth, two cloth system. And they come with, um, put that down for a second. They come with uh, kind of the inner spot, uh, this white cloth. I think it has some oils or, or something on it, some sort of chemical on it. Um, and then the outside. So you do the inside first to clean off your silver uh, and then the outside. So um, I'll take a quick look at this. Uh, well, I've already taken a quick look at it. So I'm going to just, I'm going to go ahead and just do this. So hang on, here we go. <laughs> going to do some gentle rubbing here. Now this one may end up with some micro abrasions. We don't know. A little bit of the something in there. It must be a powder. I see kind of whiffs of stuff coming up here. Let's see. Okay, let's do a little bit more here. Try to be as gently as I can. I don't want to mess up the experiment. But uh, yeah, a couple of uh, people have commented that this is what they do to get rid of the milk spotting on their silver bullion. And let's see how that's worked so far. Okay, I'm going to have to probably get a little rougher with this. Um, I'm still seeing some spots there. Now this is a cloth. I mean, silver's not, it's not like as soft as gold, but still, um, I'm imagining this is probably going to leave it with a bunch of micro abrasions, but the whole idea is we're trying to see, did we get that milk spotting off? So I am putting a little pressure on it. Hopefully not too much. Okay. Well, I am seeing a little bit. I think I've got a good deal of it off, but still like a little bit up here, a little bit between the, the rays. Let's try a little bit more pressure there, a little bit on the side here. So, I mean, if this works, really milk spotting is really just on that outside layer, but it's bonded to it so strongly that it uh, affected it. Okay, it's look pretty good, but I could kind of, hmm, yeah. Let's see, did I get, oh, okay, there's, a little bit left right by the eye in the Liberty. Let's see if I can get that off of there. Yeah, I think I see still just a little bit of stubborn mark there. And this is the one where essentially it kind of had that almost like a brown something on it, and it seemed to milk spot right around that. Still seeing a little something in between the rays. I'll give that a little more pressure. I hope I'm not giving this too much pressure. Okay, I think the other side might have got it a little bit. Okay. Now this is really had to kind of look at it at an angle. Hmm. Okay, let me take this uh, under the loop. I'll be right back. Okay, experiment number two is officially over. Um, I've done uh, quite a bit um, more rubbing. Um, I'll just show you. This is um, the cleaning side of this, um, you know, silver... Um, what do they call ultra soft jewelry polishing cloth? Ultra soft is important. Um, 
you can see it took off uh, some junk. Now, is that silver? Probably maybe minute levels, but probably mostly dirt. Uh, these are, this is a 1998 American Silver Eagle. Okay, now it may have messed with some of the luster because it doesn't seem like I'm getting a lot of cartwheel effect on it, but it looks pretty doggone good, you know, for just bullion. Um, let me turn off to the side here so you can't really see. Maybe just a tad bit there, a tad bit there. Yeah, based on the results, I might just rub those a little bit more. Now this side here had a whole blotch of milk spotting. Um, so I did this side too. And as you can see, it's, it's looking pretty good. Now, are there micro abrasions on it um, because of the cloth? Probably. I can't really see them in my loop, though. Um, it's funny when you're using this, it, it must have like a some sort of powder or something in there because you'll see little whiffs of kind of a powder come up. But it also seems to be something that's oily. Look at the tip tips of my um, of my gloves here. So yeah, um, soft cloth with something uh, embedded into the cloth. Did I kind of lose the cartwheel? Yeah, I probably did. Um, is there some micro abrasions on there? Possibly. But you know, this is now a 19 1998 American Silver Eagle that I would be proud to have in my stack. So it's only bullion, um, but it did come out pretty good. I, I looked at it through the loop. Um, you remember there? This is the spot where the I did the eraser, and you can still maybe see slight remnants. It's just a little shinier than the rest of it, um, but it did a really good job. And when you look through the loop. I don't see a lot of issues. Now, yeah, I, I can't really see like major scratches or anything on there. Uh, if I looked on it through a microscope, I probably could, um, but it, it looks so much better than it did before. Like I said, there might be just a tad bit there. I might rub that a little bit more. I was putting a good amount of weight on it. I was being very careful to go slowly um and i don't know how you know if you sent the, you know, I, I don't personally think you should send uh, bullion coins in that are such high mintage um for grading but some people do i don't know if if they're going to call this clean probably would like i said i i don't really see the cartwheel effect it's more of like shine on shine off um but boy it looks to me uh, it looks a lot better than it did before. And someone picking that up wouldn't necessarily think it's a bad looking coin. They'd probably think it's pretty cool. Um, I think I might hit that part up a little bit more there. And I'd say of the eraser, between the eraser method and using the polishing cloth, uh, jewelry polishing cloth, uh, seemed to work better. Again, I wouldn't do that on Newismatic. Um, and we'll try some additional experiments to see if there's something that works even better. But um, whatever that milk spotting was seems to have been pretty much removed. Might be a couple little spots there I might want to just touch up. But um, <clears throat> came out pretty good. Uh, we'll still continue some experiments, but that if you just want to get your bullion looking much nicer, get that... Um, milk spotting off. Um, looks like the uh, cloth, uh, polishing cloth for uh, silver, uh, did work pretty well. So I uh, do hope you enjoyed the video. We'll be doing uh, further experiments to see if there's any better ways out there to remove milk spotting from your uh, silver um, collection. But uh, we do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Always does encourage us YouTubers and uh, would love to have your subscription. So thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day, evening, dusk, whatever it happens to be for you. 
and keep your silver looking good. Bye. Uh, just a little um, end uh, item here. I, I did notice if you turn it just the right way, you can kind of see the micro abrasions on it. So yeah, we'll be checking out other methods, but yeah, this one does leave just very minute little scratches, but still think it looks pretty good considering how it looked before. Just for fun, let's try this one too. Look how bad that looks. Okay, and this one polished up pretty nicely too. Uh, micro abrasions all over the place. Uh, this having more of a, a nice slick uh, finish to it. So you can see that in the loop, but yeah, it looks a lot nicer than it did. Queen had a little splotch here. Looks pretty good. It even has some in the fine part here, uh, the pattern behind it, and it was able to get it out. So just for just plain old bullion, making it look a little nicer, knowing you're going to get some micro scratches, not bad. It looks much nicer than it did before.